Hello everyone, welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to actually talk about Rad Rover here. And so, um, I'm sorry, not Rad Rover, uh, Rad Power Bikes. Uh, I recently got an email today. I'm probably going to premiere this uh, today as well. Um, anyways, I got an email and it's like, wait for it, you know, or how did it go? What did, what did the what did the email actually say? Hold on, I gotta uh, look it up here real quick. Um, it, it had it said September September twenty second or something. Uh, that's that's kind of what it was about. I'm trying to look up the uh, the thing here. Oh yeah, here it is. It's eight twenty two nineteen, and. <laughs> It's like rad power bikes. Uh, something's happening, you know. They're all talking about it. So I want to go over the video here, in which it talks um, or whatever is teasing you about whatever is going on. Um, not really sure, but I, I will have a link to the video so uh, you can all watch it. Uh, let's just go through it. I mean, let's see here. It does this whole thing. Uh, okay, right here. This is where I want to get at right here. All right, so they show a little teaser. And if you see this, you can see right here, that is looks like a control for their new electric bicycle. Now, I I it looks different than the current like controls, electronic controls. It looks like it looks like a power button. A light switch button maybe your plus and your minus and also look, there's a little bicycle a person on a bicycle symbol I think that might be your walk mode and I see one two three four five uh, power assist levels uh, starting from zero one two three and four so Power assist level up to pedal assist four. Um, there is look this this looks like a zero right right here. Looks like a zero. So there seems to be four power assist, five if you include zero, no power assist. And then it looks like up here you have an indicator light. So you got one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like you got five power bars, uh, indicator, power indicator lights, and this looks like to be on your left, left handlebar, left side. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. So it looks like the controls are different. The brakes and the little bell, is there, it seems like a, the bell is on here. Uh, looks like the regular brake handle on the left side of current red power bikes so that is one thing I'm looking at so there's the control on the left side and then let's just keep on going here okay all right all right and they start fading here let me see if I could uh, play this a little bit hold on let me mute this so it doesn't come out okay and Let's let's go back a little bit. Let's go back just a little bit. Okay. So I don't know if you notice. Uh, I I probably have it too wide, but that looks like a little banana seat, if I'm not mistaken, with the Rad Power Bikes uh, logo there. Well, it's not logo. It's just the wording Rad Power Bikes. Uh, but if you see underneath here, like right at the bottom right here, uh, I might I might have to, I don't want to change screens, but if you see it, there's a little light here, and this bar looks like a part of the seat, it's rounded. It looks like a scrambler, uh, uh, lithium cycles, uh, Super 73 style bikes. Um, there's other companies that also made this style bike, but recently... Uh, 70 Super 73, uh, Juice Scrambler, or w whatever it is, those banana seat bikes. That's what this kind of looks like. And then as I keep going further, okay, let's see if, 
there we go. So I'm, I'm kind of pausing here, but look at that. I, you can actually see some of the frame and it actually looks like that. That's obviously a foot peg. So they probably, uh, I don't know how, if that's welded onto the frame or not, but foot peg and it looks like it, it's a, it's, it levers. It looks like there's a lever here. So it folds up or down or probably folds up. Anyways, they got foot pegs here. And if you look at the frame, you're going to see the whole frame right here looks like a little you know, rectangular frame that you normally see again juice scrambler super 73 style bikes banana bikes and you can see the chain there's a hub drive right there there's the chain i can see maybe part of the front wheel and obviously up here around here would be part of the back wheel um, or something like that uh, it's really close up. Obviously the chain, I, I guess maybe you can't see the front wheel. That might be a shadow. But if you look at it, the frame looks like a Super 73 stylish bike to me. And let me see. Uh, let me see. Okay, okay. So right about, so let's just continue on. They give you a little, okay, so right about here. Let me just back up a little bit. If you look at that, let me see, uh, let's back up just a little bit more because there we go. So this might be the front of the seat is what I'm thinking. So this could be the front of the seat and again, their logo here. And I think I see somewhere around here a... Uh, It clears up oh man just it looks like that looks like the front of the seat to me the front portion of the seat uh, I thought I saw a little bracket here a bolt so that's what it looks like and then they transition to the back part of the seat and let's see how it ends oh yeah here's the frame oh no what happened So there's the frame of the bike, the Rad Runner. And you can see part of the frame. I think this is obviously towards the front. That's why it would read that way. But if you look at that, it's called the Rad Runner and the frame of the bike looks a little different here. Um, let me see if I can get to uh, default view. No, that's not, uh, doesn't help. Anyways, so that's the rest of it and I think they're learn more on 8229. That's kind of what they got here. So I think they're selling a banana style Super 73 style bike. Would I buy one? I would not. I already have enough bikes. I think uh, they looked at the market and saw that these bikes were very popular uh, in demand. Now, do I think it's going to go faster? I don't think it's going to go any faster. I don't think it's priced any different. It'll probably most likely be, you know, the $1499 or 1500 bucks, 750 watt motor. And I think that's all you're going to get. Um, so is it a good deal? I think for some people, maybe younger or people who want to be youthful, that's their market. Uh, other than that, I don't see this bike for me. Anyways, this concludes this episode. Uh, feel free to like, uh, dislike, uh, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And bye.